Okay, so I'm just opening up the PC version now to show you first. Got a basic menu screen. Just for now, and we'll go into the game. Now, you can see now here's my scene, and I'm using the keyboard and mouse to move around with this free flying camera. I'm using the mouse to move uh, to look and the WASD keys to move around. You can see there's a, uh, I've made the scene dark and there's one light there. Now we're going to open this same scene in the and uh, on the Android Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 and see the difference. All right, so I'm just going to open it up. And we'll see it come up. It's pretty much the exact same thing. It's very, I think it's very cool how um, I can develop for both PC and Android at the same time without really compromising much. But let's just go back into that scene. All right, so here you can see there's two joy pads. Now I'd usually use two fingers, however. I'm holding the camera with the other, so I'm just going to look around with this joypad here, and I can see I'm actually under the ground at the moment, which is a bit dodgy, but whatever. Oop. See the house is up there, so I'm going to going to move towards it. Oh, sorry, it's going a bit fuzzy. Even though these um, joypads help me move, of course. Um, it's never going to be as good as the PC um, in that regard and I have never seen one that is yeah as you can see that's my solution it takes a bit of getting used to especially when you're doing it one-handed and you can see like the lights look really good on the um, tablet as well and the graphics looks looks amazing for you know a mobile device so I'm really impressed with both the engine and um, and my tablet, really. Well, so you can see that one use, uses this to look. And the left one is used to move, strafe, left, right. And now let's see. I just put the camera in my mouth so, to show you. So I'm a bit rusty there, but you get the hang of it after a little while. Anyway, that's it.